Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in today. I want to talk to you about IPL or Intense Pulse Light. This is a technology I've had in my practice for going on a year now and it's had a lot of positive effects on my practice and, and treating my patients who suffer from ocular rosacea, dry eye, and MGD. So first off, uh, what you should know, this is a light, not a laser. So this is non-coherent light, meaning that you can use different filters to achieve the desired wavelength depending on the target that you're treating for. This gives you a lot of flexibility. Now, it's a light, a powerful light, but it's not a laser, recognize that. Number two, this got its start in the vascular world. So in 1995, this was actually developed to treat telangiectasia. In the early 2000s, an ophthalmologist in Tennessee was using this to, for photofacials and he had an aesthetic branch to his practice and he found that when he was treating patients for photofacials, their eyes started feeling better, their dry eye got better. So that's evolved since then. Think back almost, to almost 18 years ago, uh, this was being used in the eye care world and, and it's yet kind of slow to to permeate into eye care, but it's more and more gaining traction because we're seeing such great results. In that light, number three, recognize this is a level two approach uh, per the new TFOS dues to international consensus of 2017. So when you have a patient who's uh, recalcitrant to your first step, which would be lifestyle changes, artificial tears, nutraceuticals, etc., start looking at IPL next. Again, this is becoming mainstream eye care. Uh, number four, what I was talking about earlier, what we're targeting are chromophores. That's where the energy goes. It's drawn to hemoglobin, uh, melanin, and water. And again, depending on what you're shooting for, we use different filters, primarily the 560, 590 nanometers uh, to get our selected targets. Number five, the coolest thing about it, and there's no consumables other than some eye patches that cost a couple dollars. So the way we do it, we do a baseline assessment on a patient. Uh, we take them through a series of four treatments, three weeks apart, and we reassess after the four. And if they need another, we can do it. It just takes a few minutes and not much cost to us. Uh, we then do a maintenance every six months. But after about three treatments, we start to see big improvements in symptoms. And uh, finally, number six, uh, there's a lot of research to support this. So whenever you're looking at technologies or claims, look for the science, follow the science. And if you take a look back, you'll find that uh, you'll, you can find decreased, decreased inflammation in the tear film with IPL. You find improvement in meibomian gland architecture as well. Signs and symptoms continue to improve even after you go through that period of four treatments. Signs and symptoms uh, get better for several months afterwards. So if you haven't looked at IPL uh, or if you have questions about it, I encourage you to take a look. Uh, up your game with dry eye, ocular rosacea, and MGD, and this is a great place to start. Thanks so much for watching.